Brent, happy wedding day. Almost a year since my most favorite pontoon ride, a lot of planning and patience has led us to this day. Today I get to marry my best friend and there is nothing else that could bring me more joy than promising to spend my life with you in front of <clears throat> and surrounded by all the people we love. I know at times I'm indecisive, but the best decision I ever made was agreeing to meet you for dinner in Beaver Dam on the 14th of October. Everything has changed since that day. I, feel, I fell in love with you, with your easygoing personality, your sense of humor, your ability to strike up a conversation and the way you make me feel. I am the happiest I've ever been. Whether it's a date night <clears throat> out or a movie in, I love every minute spent with you and I can't wait for all those yet to come. Brent, you are so respectful, honest, hardworking, and willing to help out anyone who needs it. I'm honored that I get to call you my husband. You are everything I could have dreamed of and wished for and more. I love you. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to support you and encourage you. I vow to honor and respect you in the life we create. I vow to celebrate the good times. <coughs> Oops, I think I screwed up. I vow to honor and respect you uh, in the life we create. I vow to celebrate the good times and comfort you in the hard ones. I vow to cherish the little moments, the big ones. I vow to communicate openly and listen with understanding. I vow to encourage your hobbies. I vow to make our house a home that is filled with family, friends, laughter, beautiful memories, and dancing in the kitchen. I vow to grow together as we grow old together. I vow to care for you, stand beside you, and share my life with you all the days of my life. I love you today, tomorrow, forever, and always. See you at the end of the aisle. Love always. Kim. Kim, wow, we made it. I can't believe that today is our wedding day. There are many times over the past few months I was starting to lose faith, but you kept me optimistic and hopeful. That is one of my favorite things about you. You always seem to pull the good out of any situation, and it is absolutely amazing to me. When we first met, I knew instantly that you were someone that took life as it came and someone I wanted to be around. It wasn't until our first date that I knew you were someone I wanted to spend my life with. I am so completely in love with that. It is leaving me a little bit speechless, but I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to find the words. I feel extremely lucky that you have walked into my life. Your smile, your laugh, and the way you try to not laugh at yourself are my favorite parts of each day. If we are lucky enough to have a family someday, I hope our children get all of those things from you. You are an amazing woman, and I had no idea what I did to deserve you. I promise to keep my vows every day never stop teasing you, and to love you fiercely every single day. I love you, Kim, and I always will. The best part, we're just getting started. Love, you're always, Brent. I know when people come to weddings, people bring surprises for those who are marrying. Something like those funny stories that are told by girlfriends about their friend. Sometimes those funny pictures of little babies with their tushes in the air. All kinds of surprises happen on days like this. Now, Today, Brent and Kim have a surprise for you. They are so much in love and were so much in love that they couldn't wait. And like Romeo and Juliet in front of Friar Lawrence, they married yesterday morning in Resurrection Church at Allenton before God because God is so important to them. 
and church is so much a part of them. And so they are observing today with you because they love you so much the first day anniversary of their married life. And so things will sound a little bit different as we proceed forward. But they will be filled with happiness and joy, with the peace and contentment in the nose that you don't go through life by yourself. And even though life has ups and downs and uncertainties, you've got something, someone, very sure. Someone to confide in, someone to support you, and someone above you to bless you as you go forward for many days of life. We commented on that yesterday morning about all the anxieties of planning a day like this. And we heard God's word say, dismiss those. Don't worry, God's got your back. And then we heard about a strange wedding where they ran out of wine and where they had to adjust the venue quite dramatically. And then they get wine from water that was meant to wash feet. And it happens to be the best. Maybe in these rather strange and unprecedented times, we're discovering again what is the best. Being together, knowing God's got your back, moving forward in the spirit of love. With much uncertainty in our world, it's comforting to know that love has the power to bring us here together today to celebrate and honor this amazing couple. Thank you to the Hug and Krieger family for all that you have done to prepare for this day as it truly has been perfect and the night is just getting started. So, I'll start at the beginning. I first met Kim at the hospital the day she was born and I'm told that I immediately wanted to take her home and indeed pushed her car seat down the hallway hospital because I so badly wanted her to become mine. I'm honestly not surprised by this because you are still someone that I could spend every single day around and never get sick of. She can't say the same about me. <laughs> Kim and I grew up in a perfect and simple way, with simple moments being found in ordinary days and annual traditions. We were raised by our loving, giving, hardworking parents and surrounded by our close-knit family and friends. Our childhood was that of simple moments and special trips. We spent hours in our toy room. We attended all of our Girl Scout meetings. We enjoyed home-cooked meals as a family, attended Saturday night mass, and stayed home on Sundays. We were taught to value family, faith, and kindness. Bim, Kim, the bride. You always get me. You are continually there to tell me like it is, and you have inspired me forever. You're my listener and my best friend. You might be my little sister, but I continue to be inspired by you and learn from you daily. I admire you endlessly. So on to Mr. and Mrs. Hug. What started out as a simple, little, slightly awkward introduction at a Packer party has now turned into a lifelong marriage and commitment. A group of us were up at the Burr Hop cabin for a weekend on the lake when the idea of Kim and Brent was set into motion. I immediately called Kim and I told her I found her her future husband. I could feel her eyes rolling at me through the phone. And her initial response in true Kim fashion was, oh my God, Kelly, which I've heard a thousand times before, so it never fazed me. I continued to tell her all about Brent, declaring that he was a hilarious good time, dedicated Packer fan, and of course, a fellow educator. Kim wasn't quite that impressed with that at the moment. I quickly confessed that I'd already showed him some pictures and he seemed to like what he saw. <laughs> 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 
I was confident it would be a good match, and here we are today. Kim and Brent, you are the perfect complement to one another. Literally, like the perfect match, compatible in every way. You are the exact kind of person each other needs. Balanced and connected, yet challenged in a way that is sweet and good. When you're together, you both laugh endlessly and are so full of life. It's been so fun watching you grow and change in your relationship. There's no need for extra show or glam. It's simple and real in every sense. Kim, Brent is loving, easygoing, hilarious, and can strike up a conversation with anyone. He will be the one to encourage you to step outside of your comfort zone and be with you every step of the way. Oh, and he's also a proud educator <laughs> and a secret Blink-182 fan, karaoke to follow. Brent will be your rock and your person, always. Brent, Kim is loyal and truthful. She's dedicated and listens to truly understand. She will support you and love you and never let you down. She will keep you grounded and gently remind you to slow down. Simple things are the good things. She will cook and bake and even frost your cookies. She'll continue to laugh at your one-liners and as we know, she enjoys having only a few plans on the calendar at all times. So, I'm almost done. Here's to the hugs. May your marriage be the perfect combination of easygoing times and adventure-seeking trips, ice cream and home-cooked meals, Sully snuggles and nights on the patio, creativity and appreciating the things as they are, deep faith and church on Sundays, gut-busting laughs and tears of joy, and finally, to a marriage that is full of laughs, happiness, and blessings. Congratulations, I love you both. So, growing up, Brent was always the one that got along with everybody. He was always making people laugh. He was always saying the right things. He always did the right things. He never, ever, ever got in trouble. He was always getting straight A's. Always the teacher's favorite student. And every parent loved him. He pretty much sounds like the perfect kid, right? Right? Wrong, 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 no, no. Greg, remember, uh, re <laughs> remember when Brent came home in his little black Volkswagen and his rim was all bent up and his tire was flat? And he told you, <laughs> and he told you that he must have hit a rock that was laying in my dad's field when he was goose hunting. Remember that? <laughs> well, we jumped the railroad tracks and hit a curb on the way to Taco Bell. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Do you remember when you found a tin of chew in Brent's car. He always told me, he said it was burr hops. Cool, all right. Like always, it was always burr hop, but that wasn't burr hops. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I knew Brent would be my, my best friend ever since he came up north with me to Lake Tomahawk for the first time. Both my parents shit their pants. <laughs> Table 16, right next to the bar. <laughs> so, and a day later it was laundry day. And so, my dad goes, Brent, if you come to town, and help me do laundry, I'll buy you a fishing pole. Brent accepted the offer. 
But Brent never got the fishing pole. That's all I got. I wish you two nothing but the best. Congrats.